Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to step number three in how to create an e-commerce store using Shopify. Now in the previous video, we went ahead and downloaded and selected our free theme. And with that said, in this video, we're gonna go ahead and take it a step further and we're gonna go ahead and begin customizing our theme. So let's get right into it. Let's go back to our Shopify themes page. So once we're on our themes page, we can go ahead and begin customizing our theme. So to customize our theme, we can go ahead and press this customize theme button in our toolbar. If you can't see this toolbar over here, simply go back to your Shopify dashboard and press the customize theme button right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that right now. And once we do that, let's give it a second while it loads. So once we do that, we will be directed to this page right here, which we can see is divided into two sections. On the right over here, we have a nice preview of our theme, which we can go ahead and customize. And on the left right here, we have the different tools that we can use to customize our website. Now with that said guys, how we're going to go about it is, I'll quickly give you a top level summary of the different tools and techniques you can use to create your own e-commerce store. And we will use these tools right here very briefly so that you get a good understanding. So let's go ahead and begin right now. The first tab that we're going to go ahead and figure out is this header tab right here. So simply go ahead and click that. And once we do that, we will see a list of settings available for customizing right here. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and put up a nice logo for our e-commerce store. Now, if you don't have your own custom logo, I would recommend using a free website called logomaker.com. Now, this is a very neat tool that lets you create logos in a matter of minutes. It's very easy to use, guys. Simply put in the name of your logo. So, for example, I can put in something like test logo just for this example, and then press the design button here. And once we do that, we can see that our text is over here, and we can use the different tools available to us right here. For example, the different graphics right here, the different fonts, your colors over here, and then just the different shapes you can go ahead and put. So just use your creativity if you don't have a logo to come up with a nice looking logo using Logo Maker. So once we have that done, guys, we can simply go back to our e-commerce store, and we can go ahead and put up our logo. Just press this button right here and then you can go ahead and select a logo. I'm going to use my own custom logo that I have. And once you have that done, we can see that Shopify will put it on its themes page. And then we can go ahead and press the select button on the bottom left. So there we go, guys. Once we do that, we can see that our logo has been put onto our theme and it looks very nice. Now, once we have that done, we can further go ahead and customize our logo. For example, we can put it in the center if we want or keep it on the traditional left side. Now, if we scroll down over here, we have more different settings like, for example, custom logo width. So you can go ahead and play around with this. For example, if we change this to 200, we will have a very big logo. So I don't recommend that. I recommend keeping it at 100 because it's very traditional. Now, with that said, guys, we can scroll down over here. We have some cool different things we can play around with. If we go ahead and press this checkbox right here, we will see that we will have a nice little toolbar appear on our shop which essentially is a cool way of showing customers the different deals and promotions that are happening in your store. So you can go ahead and put in some text over here describing the different promotions in your store. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and deselect this. You can keep it if you want, okay? Now that's about it, guys, for this first section. It's pretty straightforward stuff. Once you have your logo good to go and the settings ready, you can go ahead and press the Save button over here. Once we do that, now we can go back to our previous tab and now we can go ahead to our next section. So the next section we're going to go ahead and customize is this little text with a picture on it. So we simply go ahead and click it. And once again, we have a list of different settings available to us. So the first thing we're going to do in this section is we're going to go ahead and put up a nice cover photo for our store. Now, if you want to know where to find HD non-copyrighted pictures, I would recommend using free websites like Pixabay, for example, which you can find hundreds of free non-copyrighted picture for your store. Okay, so that's a pretty cool website. Or you can use this website right here. This is another very nice website where you can go ahead and find different products or different pictures for your products. Okay, so you can go ahead and use these two websites over here. I'll make sure to attach them in the course so you can go ahead and use them very easily. So once you have your pictures in place, guys, we can go back to our Shopify store once again, and we can go ahead and select our pictures. Now I'm going to go ahead and select some pictures that I already have. So I'm going to go ahead and select this one right here. Once you have a picture selected, we can see that Shopify will put it on our theme for us. And then we can simply go ahead and press the select button right here. 
So once we do that guys, we can scroll down over here to the various settings. So you can go ahead and play around with the positioning of your picture. For example, you have top, middle, bottom. I'm going to go ahead and select the bottom picture because I want the man in the entire frame. And then we can scroll down over here where you can go ahead and put in our heading and subheading. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Now I'm going to go ahead and use some custom subheading and heading that I've picked over here. Now keep in mind guys that this is just an example. You can go ahead and put whatever heading and subheading you want. Okay. So once we have that done, give me a second while I copy the subheading in place. And there we go guys. Pretty straightforward stuff. We have a nice heading and a subheading. Now once we have that done guys, we can scroll down over here to where we have our section height. And you can once again play around with this. We can go with a really small section like we see over here. Or we can go with an extremely large section. Now guys, I usually like to keep it at medium. I think it's a nice balance. Now once you have your section height in place, we can move on to our next setting which is our text size. Now I usually like to go with the large text size. However, if you want to go with the medium, you can do so. So once you have your text size in place, we can move on to our next setting which is our button label. Now this is a pretty cool setting. This lets us create a call to action button for our store. So I'm going to go ahead and type in something like shop now. Give me a second. Okay, perfect. So once you have your button label in place, we can go ahead and link this button to our collections, products, pages, blog, blog posts, pretty much whatever you want. For this example purposes guys, we're going to go ahead and link this call to action button to our products page. So simply go ahead and select that and then select this option right here. So what this means is guys that when somebody clicks this button right here, they will be directed to our products page, which is pretty cool. So with that said guys, we're finished with our second section. Now before we do move on to our next section, make sure you go ahead and save this section. And there are a couple things that I want to show you. So once we have this saved, we can go ahead and press this back button right here. And then over here where it says general settings on the right side, just go ahead and click that. And once we do that, we will see that we have these different tools available to us like colors, typography, social media, which we can go ahead and customize. So the first thing that I want to show you very quickly is that if you go ahead and select this colors tab right here, you can play around with the different colors of your store. So you can change the heading color, the body text, sale, button colors, and just so on and so forth. You can play around with the different things. Now another very cool setting that I want to quickly show you is this over here. Now let's say for example, if you have a nice picture in the background, you want to make sure that the text covering the picture is readable. So to do that, you can go ahead and play with the opacity over here. So for example, if I put this at 100%, we can see that the picture over here fades out and the text becomes very readable. So that's a pretty cool setting. Now I usually keep this at about 45% simply because I think it puts a nice balance between text and picture. So with that said guys, that's the one thing that I wanted to show you. Once again, if you make any changes, go ahead and save the changes and then we can go ahead and press the back button. So once we play around with our colors tab, we can move on to our typography tab. Now this is another very important tab. Over here, you can go ahead and change the different font family and font sizes for your e-commerce store. For example, if you want to go ahead and change your font family to let's say Roboto, you can do so very simply. Let's give it a second while it loads. And there we can see that the font has been changed over there. Okay, now same thing when it comes to your different font sizes, you can have a very large font if you want. Give it a second and there we go. We can see that it's a very large font or you can have a very small font. I usually like to keep it at 26 but this is completely up to you. Now with that said guys, the same concept applies for your body text. You can go ahead and pick a different font family and a font size. Now guys, let's say for example, if you don't like the changes you made, you can go ahead and remove the changes by simply pressing this button right here and we can go back to our previous font families and changes, okay? So that's how you can go ahead and revert the changes that you made. So once we have that done guys, you can go ahead and save any changes you made and now we can go back. So with that said guys, now we can move on to our next section. Those were just two things that I wanted to show you in the general settings tab. So there we go guys, we have our first two sections in place. We can see that we have a nice logo and we have a nice cover picture with a text, a subheading and a nice call to action button. So the next thing we're going to go ahead and play around with is this featured collection section right here. So simply go ahead and click this. Now this is a pretty straightforward section guys. This is where we're going to go ahead and put in our featured products. Okay. So over here on the left side, once again, in the settings tab, the first thing we can go ahead and play around with is this heading. So you can go ahead and change this to something else like hot products, new products. I usually keep it at featured collection. Now, once you have that done, we can scroll down over here to where it says products per row. 
and this is pretty self-explanatory. This just shows you how many products you want per row. So you can play around with this and put it at five products, for example, as we can see over here, or if you want, you can keep it at two products. I generally keep it at the default, which is three products, okay? So once we have that done, the next setting in place is the amount of rows that you want. So we can see once again that we are currently have two rows over here. Now you can display, for example, five rows, or you can display two rows. For example, we can see right here, we have five rows, or, you know, you can have one row. Pretty straightforward stuff, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and keep it at one row because in my opinion, it keeps it very clean and simple, okay? So once we have that done, now we can go ahead and move on to these checkboxes right here where it says show view all button. Just simply go ahead and click that. And what this does is it adds a call to action button as we can see over here. And when customers click this button, they will be directed to our products page once again. So that's pretty cool. Now once we have that done, guys, as far as the actual products go, we will go ahead and learn how to create and put these products over here. But for now, just keep it how it is, but we will come back to it, okay? So once we have that done, guys, don't forget to save your changes. And once your changes are saved, we can move on to our next section. So our next section over here, guys, is a picture with some text. Now, this is a pretty neat section. You can put a nice little picture about your company, for example, a cool product. And right here, you can put in some demo text about your company. So once again, guys, pretty straightforward stuff. You can simply go ahead and pick a picture. I'm going to go ahead and select this picture right here and then press the select button. So once you have the picture in place, we can scroll down over here and put it on the right side, for example, or keep it on the left, pretty self-explanatory stuff. Over here, you can put up a nice heading about your company, some subtext here, pretty straightforward once again. And then we can scroll down over here and have a nice little call to action button which says learn more, and then we can once again link it to our products page, okay? So with that said, guys, that's pretty much it for this section. Now we can go ahead and save it and we can move on to our slider section. So once we have our changes saved, press the back button over here, and then press the slideshow option right here. Now this is a pretty cool section, guys. You can go ahead and make a nice slider, which is very appealing to customers. So on the left over here, very quickly before we move forward, we have some nice settings in place. Now as far as the settings over here goes, guys, I recommend keeping it like this, because in my opinion, this is the best setting. So these are very generic settings if you wanna change them. This just shows you, how quickly you wanna change the different slides. You can play around from five to 10 seconds. I keep it at seven seconds. You have your section height from small, medium, large, and then you have your text size in medium and large, okay? So as far as the settings go, I recommend keeping these settings over here. Now, if we scroll down over here, guys, we can see that where it says content, we currently have three slides in place. If you wanna go ahead and add, for example, a fourth slider, you can simply press this button right here select whatever kind of slider you want. This can be a picture or a video slider. I'm gonna select the first one, and now we can see we have four sliders. Okay, now let's say for example, if you wanna reposition a specific slider, you can simply drag it and drop it wherever you want. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. Now with that said guys, let's say for example, if you, if you wanna remove a slider, you can simply scroll down right here and press this button, and that removes the slider. Okay, so we can see now we have three sliders in place. Cool. So once we have that done, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how we can put in the different pictures in our slider. So simply go ahead and click that, and then you can scroll down, press the select image button right here. You can select a picture for your slider. I'm gonna go ahead and select this picture right here. Let's give it a second while it loads, and we can see that it looks very nice, okay? So once we have that done, press the select button right here. Now let's scroll down over here and put in a nice custom heading and subheading. So give me a second while I just copy this over here. Now guys, once again, this is just my specific text. It's just for example purposes. For your store, you can go ahead and use whatever text you want, okay? So there we go. We have a nice heading and subheading. So that looks really nice. Now we can go ahead and repeat the process, guys, for our second and third sliders. It's pretty self-explanatory stuff. So with that said, guys, once we have that in place, we can go ahead and press the save button right here, okay? Now with that said, guys, we can move back once again to our previous page over here. And now we can see that we went ahead and customized the different sections available in our home page. Now the next thing that I want to show you guys is let's say for example if you want to create a new section right here, you can do so very simply. You can simply click this button right here and once you do that you can see a list of different sections available to you. Now let's say for example if we want to go ahead and put in a subscriber list over here, you can scroll down right here and press the newsletter option over here and we can see that we have a nice newsletter section for our home page. So that's pretty cool. So if you like how that looks, you can simply press this button right here. We can see that it's included now on our home page. 
So that's pretty cool. Now, once again, you can go ahead and play around with the different settings over here. I'm just going to go ahead and put up a nice little custom subheading. Give me a second. Get exciting offers and deals in your inbox. Okay, that's pretty cool. And there we go. We can see that now we have a nice little subheading in place too. And now, guys, just go ahead and press the save button. And then once we have these changes in place, we can go ahead and preview what our homepage looks like. So let's go to the top right here. We have a nice little logo right here. We have our cover image with a text and a call to action button. We have our featured collection section right here with three products, which we will include later. A nice call to action button, a picture about our company, some nice little text over here with a call to action button, and a nice slider right here. Okay. So with that said, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to show you how simple it is to customize your home page. Now you can use your own creativity to come up with whatever kind of page you want use the different tools available in Shopify, and it's extremely straightforward. So with that said, guys, that's about it for this video. In the next video, we're going to go ahead and create our contact and about pages. So I will see you in the next video.